Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Wolf 1111. I'm back with you. Bring your dark into light. Please take what resonates. And leave it does not. Get to me. Let's clutch reading. Let's clutch reading. If you're guided my channel, this is my truth. Clarity, confirmation, message you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channel. My soul missions waking you guys up to higher soft, higher consciousness, and 5D. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you. I will not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys. We will size. Thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and be notified. If you'd like to join the Truth Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. If you want to get with us, one free question. And go with my profile picture, click join, and then you follow the steps. It's $3.99. Right now, I have a special going on my Etsy store, 25% off and free shipping and handling. If you purchase $50 of product or more, you get a 10-minute free reading with me. I also have $25.25 for a 15 to 20-minute pre-recorded video. Check that out, you guys. I did add some of my new wax melts, candles, uh, sugar scrubs, and body, um, body butters with body butters, okay? Okay, I'm hearing you are dealing with somebody that is uh, deranged, uh, a little bit crazy, okay? Somebody that has some a severe mental illness that is not being treated, okay? You're dealing with somebody that has not been treated for their mental illness, okay? Somebody that needs to be treated, okay? Somebody needs to seek medical professional help, okay? Somebody needs to see psychiatrists, therapists, psychologists, okay? They need to see a doctor, okay, for, the, for their mental health, for their mental illness, okay? Because they could be obsessed over you or they're obsessing over something. They may have OCD, obsession, obsession compulsive disorder this person may also have hidden psych medical records so they could have actually had some kind of psych medical records when they're younger and they haven't seen a psych in a long time okay i mean i'm hearing like they haven't seen a mental health specialist in a long time and it's it's i'm hearing it's been years okay this person needs to be seen okay as soon as possible okay they are losing their mind okay they are going crazy okay this is the devil controlling them okay the devil has them under control okay they are being possessed by the devil Somebody wears Prada, okay? Somebody likes Prada. Somebody likes designer clothes, okay? Somebody likes designer, designer, designer um, clothes, okay? Uh, this person uh, needs to seek medical professional help. Someone could be in the fashion world as well, or they work in the fashion line, fashion world, okay? Fashion designer, that could be someone too. Fashion is very important to someone. Has to be high-end, okay? High-end. What else? What else is going on here? This person could have been sacrificing someone or sacrificing animals. Some of a sacrificial rit ritual. If they don't see a doctor, they're going to end up having some more problems, okay? Someone needs to do a wellness check on this person. This person needs a wellness check, okay? There's some kind of hidden camera. Okay, they can have hidden cameras. They can have cameras too. Okay, this person likes peeks out the window too. This person's very, very paranoid. They're sociopath. Okay, this person's very paranoid. Okay, they think everyone's out to get them. Okay, they think that every demon, everybody's out to get them. Okay, they they, they think every single person's a demon. Okay, they don't they don't they don't see any good in anybody. This person is in a very very dark spot. They're seeing shadow people. Okay, they're seeing red eyes demonic things okay they 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 open up pandora's box somebody open up some kind of pandora's box okay they unleash some um evil spirits okay and now these evil spirits unclean spirits are following them are attached to them this could be some kind of child pornography this could be why too they access this okay trying to start you on fire trying to burn you this person's trying to start something on fire start someone on fire okay they could be trauma bond they also could be drinking animal blood or human blood. This is a vampire, okay? This is somebody that likes the, the, the taste of blood, okay? They like the taste of iron. They may also be eating raw raw meat, okay? Raw hamburger meat, pork meat, beef, chicken, whatever it is. They eat raw meat, okay? This is making somebody very, very sick, psychologically sick and physically sick. This person may also have worms, okay? Worms or parasites in their body. Okay, I am no medical professional help. Okay, I'm no medical profession. So this is just a message to bring to somebody. Somebody needs some clarity. Someone needs to seek medical professional help. Okay, this could be a female ringleader. Okay, somebody could have been uh, a female could have been like antagonizing this, persuading this, helping this person. Females are ringleaders. Okay, this is some kind of female ringleader. They may have like a reattachment disorder too. Somebody has a disorder that has not been diagnosed as well. Okay, they may have a medical oh, hidden psych medical record, but still something has not been diagnosed with this person. Okay, um, they may have been diagnosed with OCD. 
okay? They may have been diagnosed with uh, reactive attachment disorder, which they are unable to make, uh, unable to uh, have relationships with people, okay? Um, have bonds with people, especially parents, okay? Or their guardians. Sorry, cards on the floor. Crazy thing, the cards fell on the floor, and look what one came out too. That this, these all fell on the floor, which is a reactive att attachment disorder. Failed to establish healthy relationships with parents, rel relatives, caregivers due to extreme abuse, psychopath. Okay, so psychopath. So this person is really hard to um, establish relationships. Okay, they do not know how to have a relationship with someone. Okay, and if it is, it's 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 not a good relationship, especially if the child pornography came out. This person can be getting charged with child pornography. Okay, this could be a predator that's on the on, on the loose as well. I got hiccups. That could be a confirmation for somebody. Okay, this is an enemy of yours. Okay, this is an enemy, a foe. Wow, these are some huge hiccups. They're gonna have some legal troubles. Okay, legal troubles. Wow. <gasps> wow. Courthouse legal troubles. Someone may end up being put on a commit by a judge, okay? By the Justice Department. <gasps> the department. Where they're going to have to be locked up in a psych ward. Okay, mental hospital. They've been out of control. <gasps> wow. Causing some kind of confusion. Illusion. Hold on, you guys. I gotta get something to drink. Okay. I got some coffee, guys. And look, I got slay all day. Somebody's trying to slay some demons. Okay, somebody needs to slay these demons. Okay, these demons... Someone needs to remove these demons. These de demons need to be removed from their life. You could be this person that slay demons. Help people. But they're confused, okay? Confused. Illusion. Okay, they don't even know. They're not even in touch with reality anymore. This person's not even in touch with reality, okay? They don't even know what's real and what's not real anymore. They cause conflict in people's lives. Okay, cause conflict in people's lives. They're, they're having a lot of conflict, okay? Confusion, angry, mad, bitter, okay? Um, false narrative. There, there's some kind of lie, some kind of false stories going on. Some spreading rumors. Their eyes, okay? Their eyes are very demonic as well, Okay? Look at these and like in dazed. I guess they're dazed and confused. Yeah, they're in they're lost they're they're lost in touch with reality, okay. This person's living in pure hell. Pure wickedness. Oh, this is a Jazabel. Jazabel. So we also have a succubus incubus, okay? Somebody that is a manipulative bitch. Okay, it could be very manipulative. Okay, this could be a female, okay? This could be a female that is psychotic, okay? That needs some kind of help that's sending evil eye at others as well. Or just is has very, very evil eyes, okay? Very, very dark eyes. Possessed eyes. Demonic eyes. Somebody took somebody had a bad acid trip, too many shrooms, okay? They're taking too many shrooms, too many acid trips, and they are unable to come back, okay? LSD, some kind of um, you know. Uh, acid trip that did bring back to reality, okay? This is in a lo they want this person's access some kind of other dimension of dark dimension, of evil dimension, okay? Of wicked dimensions, okay? Because we are, we, we can have access to other dimensions, and this person is in a different dimension of low vibrational beings, okay? Of demonic beings. Person may have been diagnosed with schizophrenia, schizophrenia or they will be diagnosed with schizophrenia. Okay, and it's because of the fact that they are they're seeing demons, they're seeing negative dark dark forces. Okay, okay, somebody's working really hard. Okay, somebody could be a farmer or have a farm. That's also I'm hearing about you planting some kind of seeds coming in fruition. Okay, somebody planted some karmic seeds as well. Somebody planted some dark seeds, and that's what coming in fruition is this dark evilness, okay? Because they have an entity attachment to like the unknown spirit, okay? This person has several demons inside of them. Not one, several. I'm hearing seven plus demons, okay? Somebody that was in a relationship, a karmic relationship. 
somebody you could have been in a relationship with. Okay. Manipulation. Puppet. They're, they're a puppet, okay? This this person that needs to seek medical treatment, that needs assistance, that's going to be put in a commit, okay? Um, they may also be a puppet from the Archons, okay? Being controlled by the Archons. You have concern for this, okay? Somebody has concern, okay? Calling this in, getting help, so maybe calling the authorities. This person can be very jealous and envy and look at their eyes, okay? This person's eyes are not normal, Okay, their eyes are not normal. They have a lot of pain. They're living, this person's living in pure fear. Okay, fear. Non-stop fear. Okay, it's laying all day too. Came out this, you, you could be working really hard, okay? You work a lot. Okay, somebody works a lot. Okay. Just took my kick-ups away, you guys. Someone's, this person's literally afraid of living now, okay? This person, because there's so much fear, they don't even know how to live a good life, okay? They don't even know how to live a happy life or a positive life or, you know, a, a bright life, okay? They don't see any, this person doesn't see any good in life anymore, okay? It's all pure darkness, pure wickedness, pure evilness, okay? Like, th th this this person may not even be able to be in the light, okay? I got this before, too. It's like, this person may be allergic to sunlight, okay? They may have skin reactions if they're in the light, okay? They may have to cover themselves up, okay? This person could be very, very pale, okay? This person can may not be able to be around a lot of people because of their, their entities that are attached to them. Demons are literally feeding off this person, okay? They're literally feeding off this person. They're being divinely protected and universal protected from this person. Okay? Divine is trying to protect you, okay? The divine and the universe is protecting you from this person, from this entity, from this, these demons, okay? This could be a fake terror reader. Not a good person. So this fake terror reader may be the one that um, may get locked up, okay? They're not a good person. Failed spell work. They could have been doing some kind of spell work, Okay? They've got lost in the re the readings, okay? This person may have got lost in the readings and now... Okay, so this too, they're, they're putting... So so one one thing, you'd be very careful when you're doing tarot, when you're doing divination, when you're connecting with spirit, connecting with the supernatural, the unknown, you have to be careful who you're calling in, okay? Who you're calling in. Are you calling in the higher dimensional beings of the higher light of the angelic realms? Or are you calling in the lower de demons, okay? The lower frequency vibration demons, okay? There's lower demons and there's angels, okay? There's... There's a set of messages to higher dimensional beings, okay, of the light, okay. Someone started calling, they're, they're doing readings, and this could be somebody that does a lot of dark readings like me, like brings a lot of truth, exposes a lot of darkness, and they got caught up in it, okay. They allowed it to take over them, okay. They started putting, putting, so this reader may start thinking that this was happening to them. Okay, they're but they're they're collected messages and it's not happening to them. It was happening to other people and they're allowing it to affect them and they're allowing it to consume them. That's one reason why somebody needs to actually clear out their energy. Okay, when you're doing readings, when you're doing anything with divination, you need to make sure you're clearing out your energy using sage. Okay, because this is these are collective messages and somebody started consuming this and started thinking it was them. And be careful too if somebody's using a mirror. If you if you're a reader and you have a mirror in front of you, make sure you're covering up with a mirror, covering that mirror up. Okay, I don't have a mirror here. Okay, but I've done a, I've done readings at a hotel, and you may if, if if I'm at a hotel, you I I cover up the mirror. Okay, because it reflects back onto me. Okay, so if you have a home and you use your vanity and you have a mirror, make sure you're covering that mirror up because then you're not looking back at yourself and it's not reflecting back onto you. It's not you know it, mirrors are reflections, they're portals. Okay, and there is a reader out there that is consuming that has lost touch with reality. Because they're they're allowing this to affect their life. They're allowing these readings to come into their life. Okay, they're they're consuming it. Okay, they're 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 believing that it's happening to them now when it's, it has nothing to do with them. Okay, it's what's happening around the world. 
but they feel it because they're feeling it and stuff. But now that's consuming, now it's reflecting back on them. Okay, there, there's a tear reader that needs some help. Okay, this tear reader needs to actually, you know, clear away, take a break. Okay, take a break, cleanse some energy. Okay. Okay, you could be thriving without them as well. Okay, the thriving. Okay, they're, they're going crazy because they did you wrong. Somebody's going crazy because they did you wrong too. Okay, maybe the steroid did you wrong. We also have fake spiritualists, okay? Fake spiritualist, false narrative, okay? Giving out false information. We do have a female karmic energy coming out. This Jezebel. And if you feel like you are somebody that watches tarot or spiritual channels, ask God to weed out the negative ones weed out the karmic ones weed out the ones that are fake okay that are not real okay ask god when i was confused for a while i got confused for tarot because there's so many i was watching and i asked god to remove the what weed out the ones that were not right for me that were not um divine that were karmic they stopped popping up my feed okay they stopped popping my feed and i just did not was not interested in them anymore okay and some of you just outgrow too okay some of you outgrow okay but then i also asked god to allow me to discern and allow me to feel so i was able to feel which was good and which was not good for me okay but yeah sometimes even readers that you watch for a long period of time you may outgrow them okay you may become a reader yourself okay you may just stop watching you may only watch one reader or you watch one here and there okay and that's okay okay tarot may be just the first season for you and then you become a reader as well okay but somebody got consumed in this somebody thinks that everything in a reading is about them Okay, so there, there's somebody that possibly watches it or does it and they think that all this stuff is happening about that in their life and it's not. Okay, it's not. Okay, not everything can happen in your life. Not everything can happen to you. Help is coming for this person, okay? Help is coming for this person that needs some kind of assistance, some kind of psychological help. As I said, I am not a medical professional and that's why I'm saying like I'm giving guidance. I'm like, hey, someone needs to go get the help okay and if you don't need the help you may need to help somebody else you may need to try to like call wellness check-in or something for someone they're about to get caught okay it's time to surrender to the divine this person needs to surrender to the divine okay somebody needs to start praying okay somebody needs to start having faith okay they don't want to address their own issues look at this this person doesn't want to address their own issues okay Demons are literally feeding off this person. Okay, whatever's happening, the neighbor knows about it and they have your back, okay? The neighbor knows about it and they have your back. And then we have, this person is unstable, un unstable, unstructured, unbalanced. They need to get balanced out. This person needs a cleanse. This person needs to clear out the energy. And it's not just tarot. That somebody just needs to actually, like, just get away, okay? Needs a break from reality. Needs a break from life, okay? And actually get back in touch with reality okay with the real thing with what's really happening <sighs> person's been siphoning your magic your powers your energy your items okay they've been siphoning Okay, somebody's like I said, they they're they're energy vampire, they're siphoning, okay? They could be a witch too. Okay, they could be a warlock. Trying to control your life and be little you. This person may try to um, belittle people okay and control people's lives this is a distorted female misleading like i said distorted she's very distorted okay um she got one down the rabbit hole can't get back up okay she went she went down this rabbit hole she can't get herself back out of this fucking rabbit hole she's stuck she's trapped okay she got lost she or he Trying to knock you down. Okay. This femme. 
Try to knock you down something on social media. Like I said, something on social media. Okay? Is covering this up, whatever. And we have the devil. Devil controls the social media too, you guys. Okay? You are stronger than your enemies. The reason this person doesn't have any protection is because they don't pray to God. They don't believe in God. Okay, this person does not believe in God. Okay, they worship Satan. They believe in Satan, but they don't believe in God. They don't believe in Jesus. Okay, they don't believe in that there's anything out in the universe. Okay, but then they see demons. Okay. Ooh, we have a teenager who wants a sex change. They are confused. The devil's confusing them. Okay, that's why they may need to see psychological help. You guys, I'm going to say this. Okay, this is not a... No, I'm not trying to put anybody down. Okay, this is my perception of it, what I feel. I feel that any teenager that wants a sex change is mentally confused and it has some kind of mental health issues and mentally ill, and it is a psychological issue. Psychological issue, okay? It is a psychological illness, okay, as a teenager, okay? Because they are confused. They don't know. They're growing. They're changing, okay? And some of you guys can hate me say that. I do have a aunt that had a sex change she was a man she's a woman she did it in her 30s okay she waited till she was in her 30s as an adult okay she didn't do it as a teenager she did it as an adult she went to therapy she did all the everything that she needed to do before she went through that okay as an adult okay she was an adult she allowed her brain to fully develop okay she allowed her to go through puberty she allowed all that stuff but teenagers that think this, they're confused. They're going through awakenings. Okay, they're remembering past lives. They have psychological issues. Okay, illnesses. Some of you guys could be really mad at me and say, oh, I'm just stuck on the old ways, blah, 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 blah. No. Okay, their brains are developing still. They went through something. There is a teenager that may need some medical help. Okay, psychological help. I, my feeling, my opinion is that no one should have a sex change until they're at least 21, okay? 18 is an adult, but 21 is legal age of drink, and 21, actually, I, I feel it shouldn't happen until 25 or 26, because our, our brains are not fully developed until 25, 26 years old, middle 20s, okay? Our brains are still developing in our 20s, okay? And I feel that it, there should be an age limit to when this happens, because there are going to be a lot of teenagers that went that have sex changes, which I think should be banned, and they're going to regret it when they get older. Okay, they're going to regret it when they get older, and I believe and feel that my aunt is going to actually regret it still when she gets older. Okay, but that's between her and God. That is her life. That is her choice to make as an adult. As an adult, okay, that was her choice to make. But if they're under eighteen. They are a child. And a parent should be saying no to this. And we should not get in trouble for saying no. Okay. And I have friends that are trans too. Okay. That I'm not. That's not what you know. I have friends that are trans. Okay. And I'm going to tell you to one of them for sure. In their 20s. They actually regret it. Okay. They already regret it. And because it was so painful. And it was a man that turned into a woman. It was so painful, the hormones. And now they realize they can never have kids on their own. Okay? They want to be a woman so bad. They wanted the boobs. They wanted the vagina. They wanted all that. And now they realize that they're never going to be able to have their own biological kids. Okay? Ever. And now they're 30, 31. You know? They're, they're regretting it. Okay? This person is regretting it. They wish they would not have changed. And they, they wait until they're in their 20s. They didn't do it when they were a teenager. They still wait until 20s and they're regretting it now. Somebody's really confused about something, okay? So, they really need it. And this is the Archons, Draconians, okay? Trying to control them, reptilians. Black magic being done too. It's ritual too, okay? And it is abuse, okay? It is abuse. It is abuse. If a parent allows this to happen, I, it's, it's, it's abuse, okay? That is a violation of somebody's body. And you guys can have different opinions with it. We all have different opinions, but teens talking to older people. Look at this. Teens talking to older people and they're getting brainwashed, okay? They're seeing this agenda. It, this, there should be no agenda on this. This should not be pushed on teens, okay? 
this this trans agenda should not be pushed in teenage years, okay? I'm sorry to say, teenagers shouldn't be talking to adults. Adults shouldn't be talking to them. There shouldn't be these apps where they're able to have access to it. It should not be happening, okay? They're crossing a line. They're crossing a boundary. And they should be persecuted for it, for crossing that. Huh? Yeah, because I'll probably go to the bathroom again. Somebody who's working with fire magic or somebody could be a fire sign. Okay, what else is going on here? What else? Look at full regrets, wish they didn't do it. So means gonna be in full regrets, wish they didn't do it. Okay, that'd be why they're kind of this person can have a psychological issue because they were they're trans. Okay, that could be too. Okay, because now they're, they're regretting it. Now they know that Satan called them to do it, okay? Now they're they're praying someone woke up to this, okay? Some kind of power couple coming out. Okay, this could be you. Helping bring something. Some a power couple. You're guided and protected. So if you're in a relationship and you're a power couple, you're being guided and protected, okay? Mean girls coming out here. Reoccurring thoughts, okay? They're going to have to replay this over and over and over again in their in their mind as well. They're going to have to play it over and over. Okay, you could be a parent dealing with this right now, like... Wanting to help this person get some help, assistance help. They're wearing a false mask, false person. You could be a crystal child born between 1980s to late 1990s. They feel homesick, highly empathetic, deeply spiritual, con close connection to Mother Gaia Earth. Healers, okay, can feel and heal at the same time. Somebody's literally stuck in their mind. They're in mental jail, spiritual jail, okay, on a spiritual court right now. They're dealing with satanic. Okay, there's satanic. Satanic rituals as well. Okay, that is a ritual. Okay. Pushing the agenda. To have a sex change, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. What I just heard a sex change is a, uh, a ritual. Okay, a sexual ritual. Okay. It is a blood ritual. It is a satanic ritual. They just told me that. Because that's not the way you were born. Okay, somebody could be marrying someone. Remember, marrying someone too. That's not the way you were born. Okay. Again, but it's your choice as you become older. You were born a man or you were born a woman. Okay. To go have that sex change, it is satanic. It is the work of the devil. Somebody did not like me saying that. But you're surrounded by evil on four sides. And look at somebody needs to see a doctor, okay? Emergency, 911 calls, education, hospital, accident help. CPS may be getting involved as well. Okay, they're losing control. Somebody's losing control. Frantic, anxious, chaotic, demanding, unhinged. Somebody between the ages of 0 and 10. This is very young, okay? This is too young to be thinking about that kind of stuff. To be involved in that stuff, okay? Way too young. Way too young. You should be living your life. You shouldn't have to worry about what, what sex you are, okay? You should just be having fun, living as a child, okay? Okay. 
running it for the rest of your life. Somebody that between the ages of 40 and 50 needs to see a psychic doctor, okay? Who needs medical professional help. Okay, what else? Yeah, there's a judge going to commit somebody into the psych ward. Okay? The South or Southern. They're a little bit too crazy. They lost their mind. They lost their touch with reality. Ominous. You have to be an ominous. You see true to all religions, cultures, and mythologies. You just, you're not set on one religion. It wasn't me. It was you frame somebody. trying to frame somebody. You're blaming somebody else. Okay, trying to blame somebody else. Trying to frame somebody else. Get ready, surprise visit, contact message. This is this <laughs> police, CPS, adult protective services, welfare check, checking up on somebody to take them into custody, take them into the psych ward. Somebody has literally lost it. They're guilty. Guilty. Declared guilty, trial, judge, and jury, wrong, justice, crime. Let me lock up Luciferian. The police officer, I just said police officers coming. Law official, highway patrol. Luciferian. Some of me doing some kind of property damage too, like breaking things. You hold the real power, God given power, strength, star, leader. Curses of Satanist. You guys, Luciferian too also is, um, it's about enlightenment, okay? There's enlightenment, okay? It, there, Lucifer, in the story of Lucifer, he was guided people into the, okay? He manipulated people, but he was manipulating people to see if they're going to go into light or if they're going to be demonic, okay? If they're going to be stupid, dumb, and stuff like that. Uh, if you really look at it, Lucifer was actually the morning star, the Venus, okay? Enlightenment, uh, raising vibration and stuff like that. Uh, so there's actually duality lucifer was not lucifer and satan was different okay they want to call lucifer satan they want to call lucifer the devil but lucifer and the devil is not the same okay lucifer and the devil is not the same they are different okay they are different lucifer and satan is different lucifer will manipulate but will allow you to make your choices your free will on what you're going to do and what you're not going to do you can go read about Lucifer, okay? He tried to bring some kind of enlightenment to people, too. And Lucifer also, if you talk about it, it was about technology. Very, very smart about technology, okay? Under surveillance. Something's under surveillance. Being watched, okay? Keeping tabs. And there's some kind of crime cover-up, okay? Person trying to crime cover-up somebody. I'm going to actually... Hold on. Okay, so like a fallen angel, as we know. They say he's Satan, but he's not. You guys, Lucifer's not Satan, okay? But the Bible wants to say he's Satan. He is a morning star. Lucifer is associated with the planet Venus at dawn. In old, in old English, Lucifer was used to refer to the morning star. In Roman folklore, Lucifer was named the planet Venus and was often seen as a male figure carrying a torch. Because you guys, Venus is goddess of love, okay? He's also represented Venus. So why would he be Satan? Satan is a liar. Satan is the devil. Satan is fear. Satan is um, wicked. Hate. But Venus is love. Okay? Um, he was just a fallen angel. Uh, guardian cherub. He was a cherub. Considered a cher cherub as well. He just repelled against God's plan. Okay? He repelled against plans. Re re Reliance and agency and proposed an altered plan that neg negated agency. So he rebelled, okay? He rebelled. He did what he wanted to do, okay? He did what he wanted to do. Okay, but he also, if you look, uh, go into it, he kind of persuade people to rebel as well. But they had free choice to rebel or to follow God, okay? To wake up, to see the truth, to find the light, Okay. He was the highest-ranking angel. 
He's also the highest ranking angel. God himself before God, let there be light. Okay? He was Lucifer, the god of the sun and the moon. The god of light. Beauty and who was pride and was driven from paradise. So you guys just go, go look, okay? But people want to say, people also say Lucifer is Michael. Okay, the dark side of Michael. Okay, we have duality. The, the d duality. Michael was a good side and the d Lucifer was the dark side. Okay, if you go read that, he was, there's two sides to him. Just like he was Lilith. Do you, if you guys hear, a lot of you guys don't hear about the Lord's story of Lilith. Lilith was, was actually the first wife of Adam. But she decided she didn't want to be part of, with Adam. She wanted to be independent. She wanted to be on her own. So then God created Eve. From his, from his ribs. But Lilith is actually uh, Adam's original wife. If you go look at the story, she she decided to be independent to her own thing, and then uh, she takes children. So there's a lot more than just what they say in the Bible. Okay, there's a lot more, and I don't know if they talk about Lilith in the Bible. Okay, much in the Bible, um, but she was actually the first wife to Adam. Maybe that could be what somebody actually, um, okay, she is in there. Yes, the Bible mentions Lilith once in Isaiah 34, which describes designs and deserts. Isaiah, there too, Lilith shall repose and find a place to rest. Once. But if you really go read about Lilith, okay, they're keeping stuff from you. They don't want you to know things. And that could make somebody went crazy too. Okay, somebody, like I said, somebody went down the deep rabbit hole. They went really far down the deep rabbit hole and they realized that Lucifer and Satan wasn't the same person as well. Okay, somebody realized that Lucifer and Satan wasn't the right, same person. Someone realized that Lucifer could have been the dark aspect of Michael as well. Because we have a dark side to us. Just like Lilith was a dark aspect of Eve. Okay? Someone someone went down a rabbit hole and they got they got stuck and they, they, they couldn't get back out. Now they're deranged. Now they're psychotic. They're, they're, you know, lost in touch with reality. They need assistance help. They could be hurting people themselves as well. They could be a uh, danger to themselves and family members and stuff like that as well. Okay, let's get some names and then close out. So 21. You guys, I could read the story of Lilith. I would have to find it and read it again. But spirits tell me you guys can go do your research on... Spirit code told me if you're watching this, go do your research on Lilith. Read about Lilith. Read about Lilith. Read about Lucifer. Read about the uh, Venus, okay? Planet Venus, okay? Because you will go down that rabbit hole and you will access stuff that you did not realize. Okay? But make sure you come back out of that rabbit hole, okay? Make sure you don't get lost there, okay? Make sure you do not get lost there. Okay, because somebody has gotten lost in that rabbit hole. Do not get lost in that rabbit hole. Because I could, I could do a whole video about Lilith and stuff like that. That means I have to write it, like, go do my research, write it back down, write notes and stuff like that. The Spirit wants you to do some research too. Okay, read about it. But don't get lost, okay? Don't get lost. Do not get lost. And again, it could be your perspective can be different than somebody else's too. Your opinion, your perspective, your interpretation of it. Okay? You can read it and your interpretation could be different than what I read. Okay? So you could maybe read about Lucifer and your interpretation totally different than what I just interpreted it. Okay? Read it. Or perceived it. Okay? That does happen. Our brains, our brains think differently. Okay? Our brains um, comprehend things differently. Understand things differently. Someone has quantum thinking brain like me. Especially, or if you have a traumatic, traumatic brain injury like me too. Okay, so you portray things, you, you perceive things differently than someone else without a traumatic brain injury. Okay, your best friend has been doing dark arts rituals on you in your person. So this person, that could be the one that needs the medical treatment. Okay, your so-called best friend. So-called best friend, friend of me. Okay, could have been doing dark rituals on you and your person. Training. We have a forward. Dirty priest. Hmm. Michael, Spring Hill, Tennessee, Karmic likes messing with married men, Switzerland, Camaro, someone drives Camaro, Patty, 
Heidi. We have Hawk. Okay, Hawk's um, spirit animal, the bird, is intelligent, knowledge, message, and higher wisdom. Okay, higher wisdom. Rector's Island. Somebody may be getting sent to Rector's Island. It's a prison. They slept with your best friend. Wow, somebody slept with your best friend as well. Louisiana. Cape Cod. Tyrone or Ty. Someone drives a Chevy Traverse. Brett Jr., a.k.a. Roach. Apollo, Sun God, Twin Sisters of Armides. Morris. Hamilton. Men in Black. Men in Black. Purple, the color purple. Phantom. Okay, fraudulent does not exist. Intangible. Over elusive. Being haunted, lonely roads. Somebody's being haunted. See, this person's being haunted. This individual that needs to see psychiatrist and psych ward is being haunted. Nonstop haunted. You will overcome this. Somebody's left handed. Tucson. Juju B. Francis. Kong. Tanner. We have monkey energy. Monkey can be. Okay, in the dark six, there's two sides of monkey, okay? We have the duality, okay? Intelligence, curiosity, trickery, trickery, and fun. Then we have the darker side, the other side, the negative side of it is evil, devil, greed, and lust. Because there's a positive and negative to everything, you guys. Positive and negative to me. I can be very controlling. I'm a Capricorn. And I can be very, very outraged at times okay and i can be a cold-hearted bitch if somebody says something to me, i can be a cold-hearted bitch okay i have learned how to contain my shadow i have learned how to contain my negative side my dark side okay and that could be too that's why i said there's a negative and positive to everything okay eve and lilith were the same one lilith was her negative aspect eve was her light aspect they say michael and lucifer were the same michael was the light side Lucifer was the negative side, okay? The dark side. Carnival. Bermuda Triangle. Gemini. Armadillo. Armadillo. I just said dildo. I, I don't know why I said that. I just heard that somebody's into dildos. I don't know. Um, Armadillo. This is a hard shell psychic, okay? You have a self-defense protection over you. a protection barrier, okay? Survival toughness. Be ready to defend those things you hold sacred as well as emotion. Okay? Protecting yourself, Okay? You have this armadillo sh shell, this hard protected shell over you. Someone may have STD. This may also be STI, which is spiritual infection, okay, from like an unclean spirit. Harther commands anyone she wishes. Most powerful goddess, pro pr protector, priestess, consort of Ra and Horus, 42 state consciousness, love, beauty, music, dancing, fertility, and pleasure. If you uh, look at it too, they also say Harther is like Isis as well. Okay, she was concert of Horus. They say that she was, was kind of like Isis. Okay, but then they say she was her own goddess as well. Contentment driven, you will get your desires. Okay, you will get your desires. Owen and angel number seven. Okay, I'm gonna close this out, you guys. My husband probably wanted to come in here, it's a day off, and he's been home for a while, been sitting out there in the living room. Waiting patiently for me to end. Ooh, Sybil. Foresight. Okay. Sybil, foresight. Sybil can be a dark aspect too. Let's grab one more. No. Okay, Spirit told me no. I was going to grab one more, but Spirit told me no, because Spirit told me to grab this book quick. Okay. Foresight, number 13. Sybil, develop rituals that will benefit and support you. Connect more strongly with your higher power. Intuition is valuable at this time. Use everything available to you to make a decision. Sometimes the answer is not clear immediately. Give it time. Get support from a trusted, wise friend. Truth, untruth, clarity, and openness. Okay, I am going to read the story of her quick. Okay, Spirit told me what she wants. Spirit wants me to read the story of her. Somebody needs to hear this, okay, of Sybil. In the ancient world, practically around the Mediterranean, there were female oracles who were consulted for their abilities to look into the future. These wise women, called Sybils, were powerful and often educated, and so they were feared. The Sybil herself did not go by her given name, by the name of the site of her de temple. Her old identity was washed away when she trained to become a Sybil. For example, there was the Sybil of Samos, 
the Samian Sibyl on the island of Samos, the Sibyl usually spoke the words of the deity that was honored at the site of the deity guided the divination method she used, and there was complex and deep ritual that surrounded her. When consulting a Sibyl, the shamanic style journey started for the petitioner by active traveling towards the Sibyl, and the psychological preparations of this kind of pilgrimage consolidated on the often long journey. There were a number of well-known Sibyls across the Greek and Roman empires, and historically there is an idea of the network of ten shrines with ten Sibyls. The Etherian Sibyl, Cumerian Sibyl, Delepic Sibyl, Tiberian Sibyl, Samian Sibyl, Helophontian or Trojan Sibyl, Cimmerian Sibyl, Phygelian Sibyl, Libyan Sibyl, and Persian Sibyl. The most famous Sibyl was the Daphne Delphi. The term Sibyl would have predicated the eventual, eventual specific label of the priestess there, eventually referred to as the Pytha, the temple complex dedicated to the god Apollo, just Paul, you guys, Apollo, and also his twin Armides. That came out, you guys, wow was the most powerful in the ancient world. Alexander the Great, King Krosos, Pythagoras, Socrates, and Lysander consulted the Sibyls there. Set high in mountains with valley leading to the sea, this place was not just atmospherically special, but was geometrically active. It was a place of earthquakes and deep springs and cracks that leaked gases. The Pyth Pytha sat on a three-legged stool with a cave that released vapors deep from within the earth. We now know that the natural gases was most likely a kind of methane. This changed the mental state of the priestess, enabling her to go into trance so she could receive the words of Apollo directly. Wow, see, somebody goes into trance too, okay? Her messages were not always clear. Wow! Her messages were not always clear. I just said it. Look, look at somebody... Clear, and there were other sacred staff there to assist people with interpret interpretation. Interpreta interpretation. Some messages through were crystal clear. For example, when the Roman emperor, emperor Nero visited the oracle, he was told by the Sibyl, your presence here outrages the god you seek. Go home. We know before the visit, Nero had murdered many people, including his own mother. Lapis Lazuli is a crystal. Truth. Wow. Wow, see, somebody, yeah, somebody, like I said, somebody was getting this and then they got lost, okay? They they got stuck in a reality, okay? They need some kind of assistance, some kind of help to get back, pay to their divine being. Somebody got lost, Satan took over them. And they need to be found again, okay? They need to find their divine being again. They need to find their higher self. They need to find what is most important to them, God, okay? The light of God in them. Okay, I'm going to close that out. That's that. Four, four, four. Connection with angels. Trust the guidance that they're giving you. Stability, structure, foundation, grounding, protection, and spirituality. See, somebody gets grounded. Somebody needs, somebody needs to be grounded. This person's all over. Unstable, unstructured, everywhere. Okay? They need to clear out the energy. Somebody needs to move out of their home. Okay? Somebody needs to move out of their home. Their home has too much demonic energy. Some Something about the demonic field's energy from that home. Okay? There's too much dark magic. Too much stuff happening in that home. And that's why they need to be removed. Like, they need to leave. Like, somebody literally needs to leave their home. It is it is possessed. It is dark energy. There's too much dark matter. Too many evil spirits in that home. You can sage and sage all you want, Palo Santo, but it's not going to be removed. Somebody may need to actually tear their home down. Okay? Or, like, get rid of it and, like, clear it out and air it out and, like, redo it. Something about redoing their home because it's so, like, remodeling it, refurnishing it, and then, like, releasing the energy, opening windows up, opening everything up and, like... About the whole, I mean, I was like seeing like a whole property, like a whole land needs like a big cleanse. Because there's been too much dark arts on that property, the land. Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, number four. Four gun, solid foundation, structure, stability. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, hill, namaste.